Welcome back to a new episode of Master in Programming. In today's episode, we'll check out how we can actually print out or get the first and last item in a list in Python. Now, this is actually much, much easier than you think. And without further ado, let's just get started in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a list and it will, will be a list of animals. So I'll just say animals are equal to. I'll open and close a bracket. And inside of here, I'll just list a bunch of different animals. So I'll start with dog. Uh, let's try port cat, maybe chicken. And last thing, we can put um, a bird, just like this. So now we want to get the first and last item in the list. And obviously, you can do something like just printing out animals. And then inside of here, saying zero. To get the first and then one two zero one two three and then saying something like print animals and then pass in three and this will work this will print you the first and last item but the only reason this will work is because we actually counted our list we know that exactly that the list is going to have four items we know that uh, the first list is going to be at index zero and the last one is going to be at index three but you've got two scenarios here where this is won't work, and that's if this list is dynamic, meaning people or the user can add to your list, and you want to get the last item, well, how are you going to do that? And if it just changes throughout your program, like inside your program, it adds or removes, you won't know as well. Now, for the first one, to get the first item, it remains as it is, animals, and then index zero is always going to get you the first item. But what about the last? Well, think about it. If zero is the first one then if we can just try it and put negative one and then print you'll see that it does print the last item in the list yes so when you put negative one it will print the last item in the list well let's just add more things like i'll just add uh, apple i know that's not an animal or orange and let's go ahead and run this again. And you can see that putting negative one will always get you the item in the last item in your list. Let's go ahead and try put negative two, for example. And I want to show you what happens. It gets apple. Well, what about negative three? It will get us bird. So obviously, as you increase the numbers after the negative sign, it will keep on going back to towards the list. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy it and I hope I did explain it properly to you. Please make sure you check out the rest of the list and see you next time.